Hello, my name is Bryce Heventhal and I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS application engineer from Go Engineer. In today's video, we will discuss what's new with section views and exploded views in SOLIDWORKS 2015. Our first enhancement we will talk about today will be section views. In SOLIDWORKS 2015, we can now do zonal sectioning. What we can do is specify certain planes in our section view and find the intersection zones created by these planes such as an image shown here. A good analogy is slices of a pizza. So in 2014, we were able to take adjacent slices of the pizza, but now in 2015, what we can do is take two slices from opposite ends of the pizza. Now within SOLIDWORKS 2015, we could start by creating a section view. And as before, we can drag the section view where we place it, or we can enter in a value where we would like the section view to be. We could also flip the al alignment of our section view and we go ahead and create another section view and now in 2015 we've added rotation rings to spin our section view or you can go ahead and type in a value as well to get the exact value for the degrees we'll go ahead and create one more section view and you could go ahead and flip the alignment just as you were before but it's hard to get opposite ends of that pizza so now we have the zonal sectioning and now we can just click certain zones created by our section view planes and we'll select those three and we also have the option to exclude and include components in our section so we'll exclude these two screws from our section view ultimately in SOLIDWORKS 2015 section views are more powerful and easier to create now we'll move on to exploded views so in SOLIDWORKS 2015, we are now able to do radial explode, which is going to work great for cylindrical assemblies. And now also when we use that auto space components after drag checkbox, it now groups components that are co-planar together all as one unit, so they'll move together. So we'll go ahead and jump into SOLIDWORKS and start by creating a new exploded view. And now you'll see a new box for radial explode. So I'll go ahead and select some components and select a reference to explode from and you'll see that the components explode radially. We can go ahead and create multiple radial explode steps as you've shown here. And we could do a sub assemblies as well. And now we'll go ahead and uh, switch to a linear explode mode. I'll we'll go ahead and select some components and I'll deselect this guy. And notice I have the auto space components after drag on. And when I drag these, oops, grab the next one. And when I drag these, you'll see that the components that were coplanar stick together as a group. So you can also use the auto space to space them out. And then now we could use these blue arrows to place them exactly where we need to place all our components. And you'll see that they move together. So it's very flexible to create exploded views within SOLIDWORKS 2015. Well, thank you for watching this What's New video for SOLIDWORKS 2015. That was for the new enhancements to section views and exploded views. This has been Bryce Hementhal. Have a great day.